Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my paycheck budget for the first paycheck of September 2023. Let me get that right because I was pretty much going to say August, but it is actually September. All right. And in other words, guys, I got my nails done finally. Yeah, I just ended up going back to my older um, nail technician. So that way I don't have to worry about anything because usually I can just be saying like, just do whatever you want to do. And she knows exactly what I want to do. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to have to plan in my planner and figure out the best time that I can actually go um, over there to her shop. Because sometimes, like I said, like you guys were telling me, um, quality means a lot. So that's exactly what um, I ended up doing. So I was pretty excited. So my nails can grow back out because I just do the gel overlay over top of my nails. And I just let them grow out themselves because she asked me for tips, but... I can't do, t I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm just so rough on nails, like the tips just pop off, so I just tell her to put it on my regular nails. All right, so we are also going to be stuffing my vacation um, wallet. Um, now today, for my paycheck budget, y'all, it does look like I have a lot of money that I am budgeting, but basically it's money that I also paid um, for my side hustle business because I do put some of that towards my mortgage because I do use like a big space, a big room now. So I do take all of that off on my taxes. So that's why I was saying like, hey, I would rather just put that money towards like my mortgage and then also so I can pay extra towards it. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, open our book to our paycheck budget. And um, oh, you guys were asking me about this cover. This was a cover that I actually had um stuff somewhere so um yeah so that's where that cover came from because i know you guys were asking me all right so we're going to go to our paycheck budget for the first that's going to be our payday so what we're doing now is we're going to pretty much just focus on because i started breaking this up so i can kind of focus on just one set i know it makes sense to go ahead and do the whole thing um but i'm going to go ahead and just focus on like the bills that need to be paid as of now Okay, so um, like I said, it looks like a whole bunch, but I have a lot of rollover and I have some money set aside that's from like for the mortgage, okay? All right, so income we have 1900 and then actual is 1960. Um, rollover is 600. Um, this is just for budgeted and then set aside was $800 because we did that on our last paycheck budget. So the actual amount was 1960 and then 593 16 and 800 so let's go ahead and add that up so we got 1900 plus 600 plus 800. all right so we got 3300 for our total so i'm just going to put total here okay now let's go ahead and add this up 1960 593 16 800 so we got three thousand three hundred fifty three dollars and 16 cents okay so this is the income that we're working with so like i said guys we're only going to pretty much do this and then we're going to go ahead and stuff my vacation wallet okay so these are all the bills that pretty much that has to get done before we're well, not done paid before the 14th here so i'm gonna zoom in here so you guys can see and y'all check this out aiden wrote on my little desk with the little sharpie marker i'm like boy what are you doing but yeah, he wrote on there, so I'm like, it like bothers me every now and then. Okay, so we have after school, so that's $80. So we actually paid $80. So no overage shortage. And the day that we paid, that was on the first. Mortgage, that was on the first. So that's $1,741.00. And then that was on the first. Okay, Wells Credit Card. So we actually paid um, $80. So that is an extra of $3.00. Um, so that was paid on the first and then we got Geico, which is 167, which I did get that down like $10. I mean, it's not a lot, lot, but $10 is, um, that's something, that's something extra that I could keep. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Woda bill, whoop, whoop, which is 4182. Like I said, we don't have a sewage bill and I was shocked when I saw this. So this is 4182 and this was paid on the first after school i'm going to go ahead and write that in because this is a non-negotiable this is going to come out so but i'm actually going to put the date that is actually going to come out grands um actually paid a hundred so that's an extra 31 dollars there um and then that was paid on the first netflix um because that is coming out on the 14th this is an automatic payment um so i'm going to put zero and then we're going to do 
14th because it's going to be the actual day to come up bring security same thing auto um on the 12th so that was that's going to be 45 dollars and then no overture shortage and then we're going to put the 12th i know i wrote that backwards um because that is coming out exactly on that day but so i want to go ahead and make it accountable for that is coming out okay. all right so let's get our balance so we got three thousand three hundred fifty three dollars and sixteen cents minus the eighty dollars so we got three thousand two seventy three sixteen minus the one seven four one um so that is one five three two sixteen y'all see where i'm going with it's not that much really so minus the eighty dollars so that's one thousand four fifty two sixteen minus the one sixty seven um so twelve eighty five sixteen minus the forty one eighty two so that's one thousand two forty three thirty four minus the eighty dollars so that's one thousand one sixty three thirty four minus the hundred dollars so that's one thousand sixty three thirty four minus the fifteen forty nine one thousand forty seven dollars and eighty five cents minus the forty five dollars so you see where i'm going where it's not going to be that much left over all right so we're working with one thousand two dollars and eighty five cents so this money here is what we're going to be using for our savings debt cash envelope stuffing um, sinking funds and savings challenges now i'm going to take 90 dollars out of this um, cash that i have here or my paycheck here and i'm going to stuff my vacation binder um, and i'll tell you guys about that so let's go ahead and add up our bills here so we got eighty dollars plus one seven four one seventy seven and it's awesome to go ahead and like do a budget guys because that way you can kind of pretty much see is that sixty nine dollars yeah <laughs> can read my handwriting um so you can kind of pretty much see exactly where your money is going so we got two thousand three hundred sixteen dollars and thirty one cents so we got eighty plus seventeen four one plus eighty one sixty seven y'all feel brand new with my nails done y'all so Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness okay 45 so we got 2350 31 okay so the extra is we're looking at 34 dollars okay all right so this is what we got here so this is pretty much how i do the breakdown for this sheet so like i said all of this money because these right here are non-negotiables these are things that has to get paid because i need my water bill i need my car insurance you need a place to live. Ada needs to go to daycare. I mean, well, not daycare, but after school and before school. So then this will be all of the things that will be coming out of here. And um, just a quick note, I did transfer this to my alley savings, the $100. So that is already done. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now, since the vacation money, I put that on the extra. Where is it at? I put that on the extra. Um sheet i have here in the back i have some extra sinking fund sheets just for this just in case um i have extra money that i have and i want to cash stuff it something 20 40 60 70 80 85 90 all right so we got 90 dollars. we probably don't even need a tray right now but y'all know i'm being extra okay so this little wallet here is just pretty much just um dividers and we can go ahead and take that out Okay, so for a vacation, we're just going to go in order. Um, vacation, we already have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So we already have $90. And we're going to add $20. So that'll give us 110, 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. I know I had to count my math. All right, so we're going to put that there. Okay, so next we have gas. So gas, we already have um, 20, 40, 60, 70. So we have $70. Oops, did I turn my pen? Oh, there we go. So we have $70 and we're going to add $20. Y'all, I went to Kroger's the other day and I got 50 cents off my gallon of gas. Y'all, 50 freaking cents. I ain't lying to you. Okay, so we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So that's what we got $90. And he was like, did you want to use it? I think that's the most I've ever got for like gas points. What is the most you have got for gas points? Because that's the most I've ever gotten. I was, I guess because we're like getting groceries now and we're not eating out, so we're buying more groceries. So I guess that's probably what that is. Okay, so we got $25 and we're gonna add $10. So that'll make us have 20, 30, $35. All right. Now, next we're gonna do dining out, which is always super expensive when you go out of town. So we got 40, we're gonna add $20. So we got 20, 40, 60. 
So we got $60 there. All right, so groceries, we already have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So we already have $50 for groceries and we are going to be adding $10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. All right, so next we have gifts because I always like to bring people back some cute little, I mean, you know, it's always the same thing that when you go to like the gift shops, but I mean, it's just the thought, y'all. Just the thought. So we have 5, 10, 15. So, I mean, you know, it's all going to be like the same, a keychain or a little pouch or something like that. So we're going to add $5 to fun. So we got 15. All right, so, and then we're not going to add anything to miscellaneous today. So that was our $90. All right, so that's pretty much. And then plus, saving this now, but I guess probably when I get ready to go on vacation, I might keep a couple of these binders in here. I mean, dividers, not binders. A couple dividers in here, but most of it I'll put on my, um, I have a card that I just use for when I go on vacation or something like that. So I won't be carrying a lot of cash with me. So safety first, y'all, safety first, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and add up this so we got 90 plus 70 plus 25 40 50 10 10 that's 20 all right so we got 295 all right so we got 110 90 35 60 60 15 and 15 so we got 385 that's not bad though like i said we're starting with small mouth we're starting over so that is actually not bad so that is all for this video guys all, all, all. Thank you so much for chilling with me through this video. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't, visit my Instagram and my TikTok is called A Pink Cloth Life. And then, guys, like I always say, and this, y'all, this was super short. And until next time, guys, peace.